DJ's volunteering at a nursing home with her adopted grandparent, Eddie. Danny's proud she's spending time in a giant refrigerator for expiring humans. DJ doesn't know what to talk about with a 75-year-old man. Joey says they have so much in common. They both have dead moms. Plus, she can always ask him about the Great Depression or the Three Stooges. Then they give her a quick refresher course on what Great Depression looks like. Meanwhile, Stephanie is training Comet to jump over Michelle. Cute. Kimmy says her dog Coco is way smarter than this remedial retriever. Stephanie says they should get all the dogs in the neighborhood to come by and see who's the smartest, because that's a normal thing kids definitely do all the time. Eddie is playing high-stakes cards at the nursing home and just won $24,000? Better collect from him soon, Eddie. DJ's icebreaker combo about the Great Depression is a bit stiff until she cracks a smile that reminds Eddie of his daughter, Gloria. He says Gloria's all grown up now in Florida, and he hasn't seen her since... Then he trails off. What happened in Florida, Eddie? Eddie says, forget that Gloria chick. Let's party. Then invites DJ to get hustled at pool. Meanwhile, the B story about Stephanie training a dog. Who cares? And a C story about Jesse learning what it's like to be pregnant. Double who cares? DJ won three games, and Eddie is down $24,000? Jesus, Eddie, you've got a serious imaginary gambling problem. DJ has to get home to her backyard dog show, and Eddie says that sounds sick. He loves dogs. He ate one during the Great Depression. DJ wonders if they need permission to leave, and he says nuts to that. Eddie does what Eddie wants, and that's on Earth thing. Eddie tells his friend he's getting the fuck up out this smelly bitch. Deuces. His pal says he can't. What if he has one of his spells? Eddie says pipe down and hold this candy bar, then tells a nurse that geezer in the corner is sneaking a Snickers. And with the nurse distracted, DJ unwittingly helps this old man escape. DJ introduces Eddie to her pregnant uncle and her other uncle, who isn't really a forest ranger, he just dresses like one for puppy parties. DJ tells Eddie he can help judge the contest. Eddie replies, Yeah, come on, Gloria. You gotta hurry, you're gonna be late for school. Uh, the fuck? Seriously, what happened in Florida? The dog show is going all right. Everyone involved majorly needs a hobby. DJ and Eddie are having a blast judging these hounds. DJ gave that dog four stars. Eddie gave him a triangle next to a lowercase j with three squiggles. And a D story about Comet falling in love with Kimmy's dog. Who cares high score? Eddie sees Nurse Thomas and dips with haste. Apparently, Eddie is not allowed to leave without being signed out by a family member. DJ says he forgot to tell her a likely story. DJ finds Eddie in her room, calling her Gloria, telling her to be nice or he's not gonna let her watch Howdy Doody. Yikes. Then Eddie says he's just playing. DJ says the only game he's playing is hide and go seek with the pissed off nurse in her kitchen. Eddie tells her to chillax, but DJ can't chillax because he's been lying all day and she's wondering if she'll ever see her $24,000. Eddie fesses up. Most of the time he's a-okay, but every now and then he's not a-okay. And he winds up at a backyard dog parade with a teenage girl he met just hours ago. Eddie says today was one of the best days he's had in a while. And he's sorry for getting DJ in trouble. And if she doesn't want to see him again, he'll understand. Danny explains he has Alzheimer's. It's a scary disease that makes old people judge dog shows. DJ wants to know if he's going to get better. Danny says he's going to get worse. He'll likely progress to cat shows, then goldfish shows in his final days. And just like her mom's roadside decapitation, the doctors haven't found a cure yet. DJ says this volunteering business sucks booty. Danny says cheer up, because today was one of the best days Eddie can remember. But take it with a grain of salt, Deej, because it's also one of the worst days he can remember. It's one of the only days he can remember. Eddie is telling the nurse he just saw a dog show, a forest ranger, and a pregnant man. She's making a note to increase his medication. DJ invites Eddie to stay for dinner, and and it seems like they're going to be friends. Only we never see Eddie again, because he probably fucking killed himself, or at least made a plan to fucking kill himself, then forgot all about it. So what did we learn today? Old people in nursing homes are spending their last moments on Earth gambling with imaginary money, and could really use some friendly volunteers to get in on the action. But if your adopted grandparent wants to follow you to a backyard dog show, make sure they're allowed to go, or you might be unknowingly jailbreaking a senior citizen with Alzheimer's. And backyard dog shows are remarkably easy to put together in just a few hours when all your neighbors are losers. But if you let any rando judge your dog show for free, you get what you paid for. And we'll never find out what happened in Florida, because Eddie most likely straight up murdered a lady named Gloria and forgot where he hid the body. See you next time on a very special episode.